Hello and welcome back to my channel. Good to be back. Uh, thank you for your patience. I have been uh, a little a little unwell, um, but I hope you know um, steadily I am recovering and um, I'm back with my readings. So today I'm going to uh, do a reading about a suddenly really a very interesting character i would say he was already famous but um you know he ended up you know losing his job at the fox news and um suddenly over the night he becomes like a real real superstar and um, this is a tucker carlson um and i will begin with his uh astrological sort of um key planets that the impact I, I see uh, has a huge play on his life and the events that has happened. So Tucker Carlson, he's a double Taurus. So sun and moon is in Taurus. But what is really, really interesting that his ascendant is um, Cancer. Uh, Cancer Ascendant um, with the Sun Taurus, Moon Taurus, Taurus we, we know it has been nearly 18 months, the North Node in Taurus, um, there is a key sort of changes for Taurus um, individuals, especially in their career. His MC, which is the career house or the point, um, is in Aries and in July we're going to have the change with the nodes and the north node is moving into Aries. So I'm not surprised what he's going through and uh, that, you know, he lost the job and suddenly we have this outburst of uh, information coming uh, from him and that leading to a very, um, yeah, success. You know, he doesn't really need to be in any organization he's a very successful journalist and he can you know do do you know his work from his home or anywhere in the world because he at the moment become um, the celebrity he has also mercury in gemini which i'm not surprised why he's so particularly good with his words um so yeah so that is a very brief astrology view and you know Obviously, it's it's very little, but I'm not here, you know, for astrology. I'm here only to give you an insight to his um, profile and, you know, those key planets that he has. Uh, I'm here more interested to see what the cards has to say. And for him, Tucker Carlson, what we have for you... Um, what is happening in his life and where it's leading so let's let's have a look in terms you know his overall energy his environment um his relationships his challenges that are you know occurring or about to come so let's see okay so overall uh energy is the sun and the sun obviously speaks for me about this fame, about this being in the public eye. At the moment, that's what he is experiencing and probably that will last for some time until we will have someone else coming in the same realm and uh, another news are hitting us. But at the time being, we're talking here about the Mr. Tucker Carlson who is really at his peak of success and i think he is performing very well in terms you know as as individual and as well as a profession uh what he has chosen you know to do and you know leaving the job being you know unemployed doing something what he loves presenting the news and giving you know the information that is where his skills lies and you know he doesn't need an employment he you know, smash the Twitter, social media. He earns, you know, millions and millions uh, by not being, you know, employed. And it seems that it turned out to be even better what maybe he thought to be. So here we here we are with this beautiful sun, uh, Queen of Swords. I think he is definitely here. This Mercury in Gemini. He is basically uh, shining the light through his words, 
shining the light to the world saying hey guys look what's going on this is what i have to tell the overall energy is that he is no longer willing to compromise to be quiet he observed from the shadows and he sees what is right and what is wrong and he is choosing you know to speak up that is the overall energy what i'm seeing for for Tucker carlson when it comes to his environment, Ace of Swords, of course, we know he has left Fox News. Someone made, you know, the clear decision. And, you know, with this decision, basically, for him, opened the doors. Opened the doors into something extremely profound to his, you know, life. That is opening a new career path, being able to be himself, not holding what he really thinks about the world you know his views and being able to express that you know on his individual terms that is basically a profound change in his environment he is moving um, to do something what he loves but also on his own terms let's clarify this card uh six six of uh, cups so what does it mean, you know, in the environment? It means that he probably always longed um, to do something on his own. He always wished, you know, to be recognized in a way who he truly is. Don't forget, I mentioned he is a Cancerian Ascendant. So it means that he is, you know, really in his heart, a very soft, nice guy. Uh, not only a double to Taurus who loves luxury and, you know, stability, but also he wants to protect what he believes to be right. He wants, you know, to be able to share the information that it will be useful for many. Many of us, you know, in terms when we are constructing our decisions and views about the world and certain individuals and situations. With the Six of Cups, I really see that he is connecting to many people's hearts and many people are actually coming towards him and saying, well done for, you know, being yourself, well done, you know, for being able to express yourself in a way freely, you know, that you always wanted. And, you know, being a part of a very massive institution who has a strict rules, what you can say, how you say, how you pose yourself, this is no longer applies to him. And it's like setting yourself free from those chains. And Mr. Tucker, he is basically, you know, reconnecting not only with he, himself on the spiritual level, but I think he is connecting to many people's hearts and he sees that and he sees how important his job was is and it will be and that is something that he is going to continue doing that so when it comes to the relationships we have three of cups so the current environment is really you know um welcoming him in terms and applauding him what he has done you know in terms of being okay you know this is not a lost battle this is only beginning this is the start i left you know fox news not because to be sort of um you know uh put in the corner and be quiet i'm the person who's going to fight back my corner and i will show you that i'm capable for much more than you can imagine and obviously there are people who are going to celebrate with him um, this this journey these things you know that he is basically setting for himself up um, but also I want you know if somehow I'm getting you know like a download be careful um, of those not real friends I just want you know to say if I don't know if I will be lucky enough and Mr. Tucker will be listening this reading to, to be careful um, what you are sharing in terms, you know, your, your circle of friends, um, you know, celebrate and speak only to those who really you can trust, those who are really important to you. 
Nevertheless, I see you know a very very big support and union um, with your friends in celebrating, and there is the the ten of wands really celebrating you know the end of that something very very painfully um, uh, hard um, difficult celebrating the end of this. So I I really feel that it's maybe. Um, ex-colleagues, friends who actually knew it, that it wasn't very easy, you know, for him to leave maybe the organization because he spent, you know, many years working there and being that voice of that organization. And, you know, nevertheless, everything sort of worked itself for his benefit. So this is something, you know, that he needs really to remember and celebrate. When it comes to his career, Knight of Wands, he's definitely on fire. He's definitely, you know, going to show us m many more things to come. He has this fire under his belly. He's definitely, he is passionate and he has so much more for, you know, to, to, to talk about, to reveal. He has a direction, he has a plan how he's going to do that. And there are people who are going to help him on his journey. Let's clarify this card. Seven of Swords. That's what I said. You know, be careful. I did a, a Donald Trump reading and I said, you know, equally the same. Be careful um, when you're choosing your battles. Um, I think he needs to be very careful because people who are watching, you know, those at the top who don't really like Mr. Tucker and what he's saying, they might actually really infiltrate, like I said, in that friend circle, someone, someone who is going to betray Mr. Tucker. And, you know, um, that could be quite painful. Seven of Swords, when you get in the tarot, I always sense that there is something negative when, when it comes either you know, you are sabotaging your luck, you are sabotaging, you know, what's happening or those external parties that you giving your trust. So Mr. Tucker, please be careful with who you are sharing that information and also always be very grateful for things that are in your life, you know, bad or good experiences. These are experiences that shapes us and makes us stronger and better version of ourselves when it comes to the spiritual existence and, you know, the journey that we all are on. Um, Seven of Swords really is, you know, being being aware about your environment and who you are sharing, what you are, you know, telling. When it comes to the challenge and obstacles, we are getting death. So, uh, it's hard, obviously, to leave certain things. It's hard to move on and begin a new um, start sometimes in life, you know, for various reasons. Nevertheless, I really want to say with the death card, I, I feel that, that Mr. Tucker, you're not really resisting to the change. I think you're really welcoming that change. And even though that it falls into the challenge, I think is just those obstacles, maybe logistics, maybe, you know, um, the comforts that you had are removed currently and it needs to be reshaped and redesigned and built on a new sort of, you know, way, in a new way, in a progressive, in a more sort of sleek, in more, um, when we're talking about the skill, the how you communicate, you know, your surroundings, where you're recording, that's going to be new. That is a change. So career, you know, facing the, the change, but that impacts the life, your, your, really your existence. And I think, you know, this, that really speaks to me very much that in two months time, you're going to have your natal, um, north node in aries return so that means that you are comically opening a new gate a new beginning in your life and the empress you're definitely going to be that person who is sitting on your throne and really observing the world how the world is reacting to your news how the world is perceiving you because 
you are gaining so much momentum you are gaining so much power with very little i would say doing right so you are sharing information sharing your views sharing your opinions and that is bringing that you know visibility um that is bringing uh that power the power that you even haven't you know been thinking and when we get empress i really want to say um i think it's because of that cardinal energy and uh, mr tucker you have uh venus in aries so it's a very strong i would say cardinal feminine energy um also ascendant in cancer i i feel a very strong urge um to come out of you know those um let's say shells um that you had and really you know to grow into something you know very powerful and understand the power but not to abuse it not to um let's say you know when you have it you understand but it doesn't make you you know mm, high above everyone else you you know this power is a tool but it doesn't make you you know more or less you are equal nevertheless you understand you know how this power works and you don't need to manipulate or you know um, like i say abuse in any sort of way so I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really enjoyed um, seeing these cards and it's so profound um, when it comes, you know, to this very, very interesting message. Maybe I will pull one card from the fairy deck and uh, the final sort of message for Mr. Tucker. Singer of connection. I really feel that you will be connecting with many many in the world many of you um, who are watching this who are basically really supporting mr tucker carlson's you know views and what he is doing and you know agreeing or disagreeing you are connected to his energy and equally mr tucker you are connecting with your soul and your true calling that's what i'm getting for you I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. I really appreciate and help my channel to grow. If you would like a personal reading, you know where to find me, but I will leave my details in the box below. So please um, get in touch. I am available now as I'm recovered. Um, and yeah, I can do, you know, really uh, pretty much every day. Uh, it depends from your location where you are based and the time zone. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please um, get back with your views, your opinions. And like I say, I'm always very grateful and appreciate everything what you are putting out there. Thank you so much and good luck.